Steel City Con, June 2021. Mm. The first convention post-pandemic. Is that vintage stuff or three and three quarter? Oh. I uh, like modern. Yeah, I, it's all modern. I'm always on the lookout for a few of the three and three quarter Sith Lords that are now crazy in price. Ooh, we got some vintage 12 inch Star Wars. Boba Fett here, only 25 bucks. He did not stay long. We actually went back to this booth the next day and it was gone, of course. Oh, really? Well, I didn't realize you had your eye on him. Well, not that I really wanted it, but just that I'd, I'd caught them here on the video, so I don't remember. That's oh, bad. that's not bad. Should we complete the set? Oh, that's tempting. And just how weird it was that some said on the back that said, like, collect all eight, and we knew there were, like, the seven until we Googled it and found out that they counted that, what, remnant stormtrooper that was in a wave or came with a game or something. Right, the board game. Oh, here's uh, Nando for only 12. That's not bad. How much were you in the stores? 10? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, I mean, you could... Actually, if you got that, then we could get the set, and then you only need to find Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. He, he was in the same position. He doesn't have the box, <laughs> but he has the gun. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> we didn't look at a whole lot of it in Star Wars, but uh, here was one table I did get a little little video. Yeah, it was nice seeing like the original Lego Star Wars sets and obviously they're not cheap nowadays. We have the Slave 1 for 150, a TIE Fighter for 90. Cloud Car for 50. Is it 200 for the Y-Wing and Vader's TIE? The Cloud, look at them. They had this little yellow skin and the little smiley faces. Oh, how they've changed. It's so funny, it almost looks like the quality of a Slave 1 you would make if you just were digging into like a random bin of Legos. Yep, yep. It's funny seeing the vintage Star Wars toys right next to a strong guy build a figure torso, just how, how far we've come. And these ones are complete, or at least they've got weapons with them. It always makes you wonder at a con though if they're gonna be authentic weapons or not. So here I found some of those Fisher Price figures that inspired vintage Star Wars. Were they adventure people? I always forget. Drawing a blank too. Oh wow. They're like three and three quarter inch. From like the early mid seventies. So they were the scale that inspired Star Wars. These are all three and three quarter, right? Yeah, I guess mostly vintage collection. Some super expensive modern Star Wars here. So there's the first figure of Darth Malgus from the Knights of the Old Republic series. I got him out of box for I think 40 or 45. I was pretty happy. Oh my gosh, look at Fonda Baba. He had like suction cup hands and then he had hand hands. So I'm assuming in some shots he had weird mittens and then in the shot where his hand was cut off he had actual fingers deleted scene blu-ray figures oh my gosh gee you think there's any darth vaders at this table who is that guy with the helmet i don't know who he is <laughs> expanded universe figures I like the com tech chips as basis on figures that didn't come with com tech chips so here's some more vintage star wars 48 bucks for Best Fin Leia. I didn't even look to see if she had a weapon in there. I don't know. I think it says nice on the bag, so you, can, you know it is. If it had a weapon, that would be a really good price. And if it didn't have a weapon, that would be a really bad price. Nothing here that was really exciting me, though. I'm just seeing all this amazing stuff. It's, why I, it, it's just so therapeutic and so great getting out to these cons. And after all this time of not being able to do it, it was just so good seeing all this stuff again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.